Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a fun springtime arrangement. And the reason I want to make this is I was in a kind of home store and uh, I saw this and I just thought this is so cute. And I think it's really designed for filling with sweets or putting bits and bobs in. Uh, but I just thought this would be really nice for an arrangement. So we've got this little tray and this really wasn't very expensive at all. It's just a, a cheapy really, but it's ideal for putting to use. So what I want to do is I want to give it a little bit of height with some twigs and uh, put in some materials. So we need something for the base. And what I am going to use is some floral foam, but um, there's different types of floral foam that you can get and you can get ones that are more recyclable now, so that is better. Um, this one isn't, I'm afraid, but I'm just trying to use up what I've got, which is, makes sense, to be honest. So I'm cutting this to about the depth that we had, or the depth of the tree, and then I'm just gonna measure this. So I really want a piece of foam just along the whole base. Now another thing as well is if you're using foam at home, don't just throw it away. Sometimes you can turn it over and reuse it and do different things with it. Um, it's not necessarily something that you have to just always think of as a one use. You could even possibly put it into like hanging baskets when it's used up just to help hold some water. So, that little bit of plastic is giving us a liner. I don't mind us seeing a little edge of that. That's kind of cute. And um, that is literally that. So we don't need to secure it really. It's quite happy there flat. And as I say, this plastic is going to allow us to add some water and not worry about it dripping. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put in a little bit of moss. And again, this was just some moss that I found in the garden. And we're just going to put that in over some of the areas. Now, I've got this really super cute bunny and I don't really want him to disappear. So we're not going to make an arrangement that is so full of stuff that you don't see everything. And you could really actually just take time and enjoy making something like this. You could even uh, get a few of these and have this as a little project for maybe the kids. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have fancy materials. You can just get some little fun bits and bods and just see what you've got around the house. This is a little bit of sizal. And I really like the white with the green. I think it really pops and looks fresh. And as you can see, we've created a base and we've actually hidden that foam. So now the first thing I want to do is add our twigs. So the great thing with these twigs, and I use these for another project in the winter. And um, the good thing with it being white is it actually matches in with our container. So as I say, this is going to give us a little bit of height as well. But it also gives you an opportunity, if you wanted, that you could hang some little things on it. So you could hang like little eggs or little uh, pieces of ribbon, uh, little decorative things. So you can really make a little bit more fun with that as well. But again, it also gives us a little bit of structure. So we've got our structure, we've got our tray, and straight away we've created something that's visually much more than what the tray was on its own. And flower-wise, well, we'll add a little bit of foliage first. Now I've got a little bit of this pine, and I really like this pine, it's really cute. We can just break it down and make it into like little trees. 
So to be honest, you could actually even add some little sweets or something into here or little eggs would be quite cute. But our main flour that I want to use are going to be some tulips. And I've got a few of these absolutely beautiful two-tone ones. And we'll just add them in. So actually with the foliage, you can, you can reuse the foliage as well. So let's not just throw that in the bin. We can add that even just by turning it around so that we actually enjoy the stems as well. Now the only bad thing with tulips is they kind of go everywhere. So this one's heading off here, this one's heading off there. It's a little bit difficult to get them to behave and stand in the way that you want. Now, I think we'll put this one facing towards this way. And in a way, these look a little bit like Easter eggs. So you could make this for Easter. Now, just seeing where best to put this. They will move around. So that's the thing with tulips is they're uh, kind of photosensitive. So they will grow towards the light. Uh, I quite like that. I think that's kind of fun. It's not necessarily a big problem. Now, I have a little bit of ivy. So we can just pop our little bit in there because that's got a little berry. And I have one or two roses. Now with the roses, I really want to just keep them quite short and quite sweet. So I've got one there and we'll do one over here. So I'm just looking to get some differences, differences in height and differences in the way that the flowers are facing. Now you'll find it's very easy when you're doing a, a design like this to put your flowers in. But if you're gonna use things that are kind of heavy, then that's gonna be more of a problem. Um, there is not the depth of foam to really support anything that's uh, super, super heavy. So we don't want to do that. And I've got one or two amaryllis and again, um, amaryllis, alstroemeria. So we can make this and it looks a little bit like a window box. And just bring in one to the front. So if you're finding it hard to go through the moss, just make a little little guide hole. And I've got just another little bit of pine here that's a different one. So this is all about textures and interest and just creating something that's a little bit fun. So I'm not going to put any more in because in a way you can, if you, you can just keep going and then it's just going to look a bit like a hot mess. So it's knowing when to stop as well. So I think this is all this needs and this would look great on a side table, on a windowsill and actually even make a nice gift. But why not get the kids involved and let them have a go as well? So you can do this quite cheaply, quite easily with not a lot of flowers and I think you get quite a fun arrangement at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, click here and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again for another floral design.